What's up gamers and welcome back to another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles. Uh, unfortunately we didn't get to play this at all last week because with me all being sick and all that. Uh, just heads up, there's only going to be, uh, there will be no Animal Crossing episode today unfortunately. I did have plans to do things but for the first time in a long time I actually woke, uh, woke up. Woke up really late so and then by the time I got up I, I, I think I mentioned it last uh, y yesterday but yeah my... Uh, dad has like a few points. He's done something to his back to the point that he can't really do anything. Like he, he's just completely fucked his back over. So why he can't do all that? I'm pretty much driving around to like his doctor's appointments and all that. So there, that's that. So I pretty much woke up late and then I ended up having to uh, do some driving for him. So I, by the time of this recording, it's already about five thirty. Well, it's okay. It's five twenty-three. Close enough to uh, 5.30, but yeah, so with all this, it usually takes me about three hours, like render it all and upload it. By the time I get that, then I would have to do Animal Crossing after that and it'll go up late anyway. It'll just go up till tomorrow. So I just thought I'm just going to pass on Animal Crossing just for today because it won't get up on time. Also, I'm trying to figure out where I'm going. So I'm just, uh, oh, we're going down there. All right. So yeah, so the plans of Animal Crossing would just be moved to Monday instead. Uh, there will still be an episode tomorrow, don't worry. Every, everything should be fine tomorrow, so we should still have the episode of this and Animal Crossing. Yeah, but yeah, I just had my hands full today, so unfortunately that is the case why there will not be, be one. But tomorrow we do have our first fishing tourney, so that will be something to look forward to anyway. But anyway, uh, as you can see, wait, before I start, I think we're like level 62, 60... Three or something. We're now 60, uh, 36. Uh, don't say 62, I mean 32. 32 or 33, somewhere around there. Now, as you can see, we're now 36. All oh my guys, so I did quite some powering up. I did some few quests. I got some better gear, some better uh, gems, or whatever you want to call them. So we have powered up our guy, a fair, uh, our guys, a fair amount. So hopefully this time we can beat. Also, that is an ugly dinosaur. Oh wait, what level are you? Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pass, but thanks. But anyway, as I was gonna say, hopefully today can be the day that we could, uh... beat this Telethia, if I remember its name correctly. Because, uh, yeah, we... We couldn't even hit it last time. We were literally hitting... We were just... Well, actually, we weren't hitting. We were getting misses constantly. I'm thinking that was because we were probably under-leveled, like, complete... Like, we were, like... I think we were like six levels lower than it or something. Or like five. I don't know. It was something like high number. So uh, now we're... Should be closer to it. If not same level maybe. So we'll see how we go. And fingers crossed. I'm trying to avoid all these creeps. There's so many things. i got to avoid that. Uh, you might not be as hard. But you look like you're going to try it. No, you're not going to target me. I'm going to run in the bushes. Should be fine. I love all those guys, 34. I don't remember this thing being... Is it not a waypoint somewhere around? One sec. There really isn't a waypoint around here? Well, that's kind of depressing. <laughs> if I lose, I literally have to run all the way back. It's fine. If, if I lose and I have to run back, I'll probably just skip ahead. So you don't have to watch me run back. I don't know how long... The, we might be the first try, like we did... Oh, we might take us a couple of tries. Who actually knows? I'm trying to see if there's like any like... Ugh, forgot about you. Uh, you shouldn't be able to track me as long as I stay in the forest. Maybe? I mean, it's kind of brutal those things are around. If you go anywhere near them, because they've got a tracker, which uh, the eye thing, which means they can see if you get it uh, within a certain distance to them. You're not too bad to avoid. Oh, the beast is already out because we lost to it last time. I, I think we have a good chance this time, though. I think we have a good chance. We definitely are powered up a lot more. We'll just have to see how we go with that. But look at the big boy, though. Let's see how we go. Fingers crossed. Okay, we can actually hit it this time, so that's something. 
That is a big something. <laughs> yeah, the last time we we're just missing everything. It was kind of brutal, not gonna lie. Oop, wrong thing. I meant this. There we go. Now we should be able to hit. Yeah, we can. Okay, we're actually getting, we're actually getting to it a lot easier this time. I wasn't too sure if we would be able to take it on or not, but no, it looks like we... Uh, excuse me, the damage? Hey, what am I attacking? Oh, I was healing someone, right. Uh, shall I heal? Oh, damn. Uh, I am taking quite the pound. Wait, is it, I've, wait, what does this move even do? Wait, one sec. Oh, that's... Oh, yeah, that's probably not the wisest thing to be using. Gonna be, gonna be honest. Not a move that I should probably be relying on too often. That's taking away my health. Uh... Hopefully this will dodge, maybe? Actually, I would rather take the damage over Dunbarn. We're going to, okay, can she heal him? Oh, do we beat him? Yo, we didn't have to take him all the way down. Okay. Oh. Yo, it's got like instant regen. Oh no. Could she gave up pretty easily. And the crushing pain of losing those close to you. I can't stand by. I miss Fiona. And let another person experience what I have. This monster is going down. I'll trap him with the Monado. Then the rest of you hit the Telethia with everything you have. Thank you. Ready? Oh, he's back to oh, great. He's back to full health. Look, we got him close. Now they just healed him back up. Also, there we go. It's very hard when you like when you need to use something in like a certain uh, time and things just not loaded up, so you can't use it. Uh, excuse me. I'm gonna heal myself, why not? Get a heal off. I mean, you could use a chain attack, but I kind of want to save it just in case one of my guys go down. Oh, that damage, though. You know what? I'm gonna wait till... We desperately need it. Alright, let's use... You know what? Let's just use it now. Stop it. Debuff immunity. I think that's Dunbar's ability. Uh oh. Yeah, I've already used it. I kind of fucked up. Yikes. Oh, wait, no. I've already got it on, so it cancels it. Oh, ho. Quick plays. I'm slowly starting to get used to, after playing all off camera and all that. I'm starting to get used to uh, when to use things and when not to use things. So that's always a good thing. 
Still just using abilities though when they're up. <laughs> I probably should use them at like certain times, but uh, that doesn't seem to be the case with me. I just use them whenever they're up. We need the double. Do I have to be behind him for this? Uh, I need to be on the side. It's a little easier said than done because he's never on the side. He's always targeting me. So uh, it makes things a little difficult. I'm about to just use the ability anyway at this point. Wait, you went back to full rude? I just realized you went back to full health. You know what? Let's risk it. Stuff it. Uh, I have no idea what to use. I'm terrible with the chain attack. I don't know how to chain it properly. I need more practice at that, I think. <laughs> Actually, I don't think. I definitely know I need more practice at it. I, I probably just wasted <laughs> one chance. I mean, if... Things get really bad. I can always use my uh, ability to use half my health to get our bar up. Oh, now we're just using shield. Got it. Be done for, beast. Look, you make it very hard to use my abilities when they all revolve around being on the side of you. <laughs> I can't. This thing's always targeting me. All my... I think this is where you need, uh... Ryan. I mean, we're getting him down, so it's fine. Let's just keep slashing him. We get in there. Just tank and spank. E easy this time. Yeah, I think we're just really underleveled. You still got hit by the tail. Dumban's always just jumping up on top of it. <laughs> Yo! Did she just disintegrate it? Damn! Brilliant thinking. Even though the Telethia can absorb large amounts of ether energy and regenerate at an incredible rate, Absorbing so much energy caused it to implode. Who would have thought? Oh, it imploded. Brute force wins again. Nothing like an old-fashioned scrap. Dixon would have been proud. It was the only way I could think of. If there had been another way. Don't listen to Dunban. Soon you and that Monago will be unstoppable. It's like it had the cave. It was almost Natural. I'm still, as I said, I'm slowly getting used to actually the whole combat. I still like combat in two better, but I'm slowly getting used to it. We'll turn that face neck on into scrap. I know. That's what keeps me going. Oh God, Garin, Daniel, Eisel, are you there? I did it. It's dead. Did you see? I thank you for your aid in my cause. Just oh. welcome. Whoops. I didn't mean to hit A. <laughs> Look at him, it's just a spike ball. Hey, the fight over already? No, Ricky, not no. I'm afraid it's all finished. We couldn't have done it without you, brave little here upon. <laughs> Ricky brave. Ryan also a little brave. Ricky happy happy. That would be very painful to walk on. Just all those blades, uh, spikes. 
Personally, that's just me. Maybe he's used to it better. Looks uncomfortable. <laughs> Let him have his glory. A few days ago, the villagers wouldn't give him the time of day. Besides, won't you miss him just a little bit? Chief Dunga, Ricky beat Dino Beast. Does Ricky still have debt? No, Ricky. Your debts are repaid. However, yeah, his debts paid for nothing. You are gone. Your little ponds act like ravenous Oluga. It set Chief Dunga back. Quite a bit. No poor, no frontier village. A new prophecy has been told. Our hereupon slayer of Dino Beast will further his legend by accompanying the home home on their travels and bringing peace to the land. I think they just want to get rid of him. I don't think there's any prophecy at all. I was right. They just want to get rid of him. Do not worry, Ricky. Your little funds will be taken care of. <laughs> My God, there's so many of them. Yo, they were popping them out like a candy machine. There are so many kids. And children. Ricky, how old are you? Ricky have 40 years. <laughs> oh, friends look puzzled. He's 40? The fuck? Just surprised. Ricky! Oka borrow money for Little Pond's food. Chief Danga know best. Ricky must work for Little Pond's to have good life. Yeah, try making love to the spike ball now, woman. Yeah, you don't want to touch the spike ball no more. Dunga is very fond of Melia. Same hom hom, different world. Not fair if you ask me. His armor's all multicolored. He's got purple spikes, green spikes, and a gray spike at the butt. Well, guess we're going to the sea now. Oh, she left our party. Wait, where'd she go? I have no idea where she is. I'm going to be honest. Oh, she's going up here. Again, there's a, there's a few quests here, but I'm probably going to leave those till off camera. I don't really have to do them on camera. Because, I mean, we've got a, a, lot, of the, a lot of story as it is. So that's pretty much what I'll do like when I get to a point where I get stuck like I did last time I'll just do all the side quests that I've already passed and they should give us a huge boost like that one definitely gave us a boost we couldn't hit it last episode this episode we literally just shredded through the entire thing so uh that happened we've done that twice now which is 
I realize I could just teleport up here. Oh well. We're running up here anyway. I've already started. What is that? I wonder if that's a spring that would just bounce me out. Wait, there's one here. Uh, no, I was kind of hoping it would be like a spring that would shoot me up. Does not seem like that is it. So, uh, anyway, up we go. Still not sure what exactly we're doing. Wait, they're talking about sea. Are they talking about that in the sky? Is that where we're going? Now I think about it. Because we're going closer up to the roof, so I just feel like maybe that's where we're heading. Could be wrong. Maybe not, but... I guess we'll find out. Let's go. Melia, what will you do now? I would like to repay you for your help. Permit me to act as your guide to Aerith's seat. Of course. We'd love you to. But I must warn you. Aerith's sea is vast. Do you know where you wish to go? There's a dark tower at the head of the Bionis. I saw it in a vision. That's where I must go. A dark tower? Then we need not search at all. So you've heard of it? Heard of it? I have seen it. A dark tower at the head of the Bionis. Only one place fits that description. So you know it. I believe what you Pretty sure she's gone over that about three times that she knows that but they keep asking. So you know it now? Indeed. Melia, have you ever been there? I have not set foot upon the island, but I know of it. Prison Island is sealed. No one may enter without Imperial sanction. Imperial sanction, eh? That means we'll be needing someone to grant us entry. I've heard that Aerith Sea is home to an empire ruled by the High Entia. They might be our best chance. You are knowledgeable for a Homs. Sanctions? Empires? Anyone help here? Oh, a sanction is permission from someone important. An empire must be a place ruled by an emperor. In other words, we need an emperor's permission to enter the island. This emperor, is he important? Long before we Homs built the colonies, I love his armor. They've got that other armor that I've only got the boots of. I kind of want to try it out when I get the rest of it. With much greater influence and power. Now I get it. Dumban knows more than a textbook. Are you kidding? That's first year Homs history, Ryan. I might have slept through that class. So when do we get to meet these high end here, folks? You are so. Oh, forget it. First, we must travel to the Imperial. It's what, like. like... Shulk, Ryan, and Dunbarn, of course, have been together the whole time. But the way, uh, like, they all talk to each other, it's like they've been friends for, like, years. More sh uh, she kind of acts like it sometimes. Anyway, where are we going? Also, there's no... I feel like those mushrooms like a jump pad, I swear. What is in the little house? There's nothing in the house. What a boring house. Oh, well, you're a little away from that one, so uh, yeah, well, we can use a lot of them. All we have to do is level up the friends, uh, the friendship a bit, and then we can actually do a lot of these uh, heart to hearts. All righty, take me to the sea. I am interested in where we're going. I am indeed interested. Uh, me can send you to Aerith Sea in a flash of light. Are you ready to go? Uh, let's go. It is taking us up to that top sky sea. I was right. I mean, I'm interested in what's actually up there. Friends, jumping bull. <laughs> All go to Eris. Jump in that. You're nuts, purple. You have nothing to fear. This will take us to Eris Sea. 
I don't know why they need the path. I've walked through this water before. I'm pretty sure it was pretty shallow. <laughs> they don't need the pathway. Who's that? And what is that? That is nasty. Wait, they make another metal face. Ooh, we're up to chapter eight already. Let's a uh, go. The Earth Sea. What is Yeah, this place looks sick. Everything's just floating, though. This was above where we were. This does look insane, though. Eric C was right on top of Ricky's village. Dive deep enough, you can reach their tree. Perhaps you should try. <laughs> Might do. Haven't decided yet. Dunbum secretly wants him to try. I kind of want him to try. I'm interested in what would happen. Is something wrong? Aren't you curious? About why we're going to Prison Island, I mean. It is not common for Homs to visit this region. You may have good reason, but forgive me. I do not pry into other people's business. It's definitely bugging her, Shulk. How, how dare you, you clown. It's okay, Melia. We're not strangers anymore. You're right. So then you'll listen to our story. Yes. Tell me why you were here. Basically, it all started when... Oh, we're going through the vision again. This... Oh, we're not. I thought it was going to show us the entire game once again. See, I had heard about the Necron Assault in the lower regions, but did not know the situation was so grave. How lucky we are. Hey, what's that? Is that floating castle? You are looking at Prison Island. That's where we're going. That's Prison Island. Yes, and that is the Imperial capital, Alchemos. That looks sick. It's not just me. That looks like an alien saucer with like a spike in the top of it. Built with superior defenses in mind. Incredible. What technology makes this possible? I do not know, and I've never had the need to. You don't know? It doesn't freak you out. You can eat bread without knowing how to bake it. Makes sense to me. I understand why it's like trippy for them, because where they come from, everything's just like run down, made from scraps. This is like all futuristic high tech stuff. And how do you expect us to get up there? Fly? There is a transporter up ahead. We can use that. We've been deep sea diving. Now we're gonna fly. This place gives me the creeps. I guess we don't have a choice. Right. Onwards to the capital. Still. What is it, Dunban? It's a sight to behold. Those look like anti mechon defense systems. It looks like, uh... I can't remember who used them. It was like magicians or something. Like those sticks and you try and balance the plates on them. <laughs> That's what those things remind me of. If you can see them. Those little plate, plate balancing stick looking things. Alright, where are we? Oh my. I'm actually wondering how far through the game we actually are. I feel like, I mean, I doubt we're near the end. I, I feel like if we're near the end, then this game's gone hella quick, but. 
We're being flying to these regions nonetheless, though. Not all the mobs. All the, these are all level 32, so they're not that tough. Oop, wasn't paying attention. So I will look, like, look at it. This place looks insane, though. So pretty. Lit up. I don't know what the... What those red things are. That's like... I want to say like lava. I don't know. This place is just lit up like Christmas. That's all I know. Wait, everything's lit up and then there's just that. Not lit up. I mean, it's got a few lights. Of course, but uh... Right, how do I use this? Oh. I guess that's how we use it. Just run into things. Oh, this has like teleports to everything. We're just gonna keep running. We can come back and explore all this later, I guess. I feel like this is a place we could get completely lost in. Yeah, look at all that. This is definitely a place where you could get lost in. At least I could get lost in. Maybe normal people might not, but uh. I probably would. I would find a way somehow. I'm just running around looking at everything. Another hard to heart. Let's, let's go. Let's go and check it out. See if we can do it. I doubt it. I mean, we haven't been able to do. I think so far during this playthrough, we've only been able to do like one or two hard to hearts, and we cannot. We are still a little down. Because Ricky is a new to the party, so unfortunately, no one's going to be able to do hard to hearts with him. Oh, central gate. Are we about? Oh, we're just below it. Oh, the eagle people. Welcome home, Lady Melia. Lady? Huh? Thank you, Captain. These homes and this knock-on are my guests. See them safely to the guest quarters. Give them anything they need. As you wish. I admit, their armor looks kind of sick. I have no idea. <laughs> Charlotte's just so confused. They're all confused. I cannot speak now, but I shall fulfill my promise. I understand. I will arrange for an audience with... I think that's the first time his vision hasn't showed trouble. He was just watching a prey. Trust me. My thanks. thinking the same as me whatever her position is here Melia won't let us down I'm sure you're right <gasps> more of these guys well they instantly turned she said treat them like I mean unless this is how they treat their guests well they came out to beat us all I bet she's crushing. Cr I cannot speak. I bet she is crushing on Shulk. Yo, I lost my team. Oh, well, now I'm playing as her. 
Yo, they got escalators. Wait, this place looks insane. You say the second consort's child survived her ordeal? Forgive me, first consort. I, Tyrea, vow to see your orders fulfilled. Well, there is treachery here. Oh, damn. Do not underestimate the lengths to which his majesty and the child's loathsome goons will go. How, pray tell, will you avoid the guards? I will do whatever it takes. Oh, your stupidity. Yo, she seems like a straight bitch. Enough of your drivel. We will have our chance. When she stakes her claim to the throne. Wait, I wonder if the person that's making all the me uh, mech on. I wonder if. Because they have a full city in this town. I mean, I thought it was a giant castle, but it turns out it's just a. Oh my god, the doorway is massive. Oh, I just wanted to look at. Boo. I just wanted to look around the place. Oh my God. Everything's. Everything in this place is just jumbo sized. I don't know if it's necessary for the most part, but. Mm. Yeah, they got cool statues. Yeah, I feel like if I lived in a place like this, I would be lost probably 24 7. I would want to go to the bathroom and end up in like the kitchen or something or want to go to the kitchen and somewhere in the front door <laughs> I would go anywhere but where I actually need to go and then there's this little man and how come they all have wings and she doesn't yo it's a fancy staircase that's invisible or it's glass also, he has an unnecessarily big throne room. Melia Antiqua's first princess has returned, Your Majesty. Raise your God, he's got big ass ears. Dude, that dude on the right looks insane. Havoc on countless veteran knights. Few triumphed where they could not. <laughs> I find it difficult to suppress these feelings of pride for you, my kin. But your majesty, I failed to return with any of the subjects you entrusted to. Your ears are so big and hers are little. Cost them their lives. We will grieve for them. But it could not have been avoided. It was their duty and honor to fight beside you. They were all aware of your limits. Emperor. Keep those feelings of frustration close to you. It will help you to remember the debt you owe to those that have fallen. Your Majesty, concerning such debts, there were others who ate. Let me be honest, fuck that throne. He's standing up. I would be wanting to see it. They have been arrested by Imperial security. Shulk and his companions? Yes. For reasons pertaining to the weapon this Shulk possesses. Shulk's weapon? Do you mean the Monado? So it is true. If that weapon is truly the Monado, we shall be forced to take action. That dude looks beast, even if he is an ass. There is a legend passed down through the generations of a divine weapon. The Monado. It is said that the Bionis itself bestows the blade upon a chosen one. However, if the chosen one is black of heart, he will cause the destruction of the High Entia. Among High Entia exist the good and bad alike. Homs and Nopon are no different. If this boy is the chosen one, the Divine Seer's interrogation will reveal where his allegiances lie. So you intend to keep them confined? We must. Father, I mean, your majesty. I assure you, Shulk is of pure heart. 
As my successor, you will play a role of great importance. Calm your spirit and be patient. Buddy, why are your ears the only ones that are giant? I... Dear sister, I can see the Emperor's words have confused... Yeah, that's her brother. Her brother is badass. I want him to join my party. Brother. His Majesty has spoken. He recognizes you as the Crown Princess. You are to be the next ruler of the High Entia. Me? And not you? Yes. The Emperor asked for my counsel, and I told him as I tell you now. You will make a fine Empress. There is no one more suited to leading our people. You proved that when you dispatched the Telethia. I... don't know what to... Melia. About the soldiers? I am not fit to rule. I should visit their families and beg for pardon. Melia, you know that this is not allowed. No, the, that's the issue with always the rich people or like the people living in castles. They always got such rods up their asses. They're so <laughs> they just don't have sympathy for lower people. They always just care about themselves and only themselves. Okay, well she's a different case. She actually cares about others, but like. The rest of them just seem like they hate life. The Emperor has chosen wisely in you, Melia. I am to be crowned princess. Yes, you are. Her arm looks kind of sick. Of research and records are united in support of his also, can I have wings? I want to see Shulk with head wings. No objection to your appointment. I understand. I would never openly question our divine emperor. But the wielder of the Monado, the chosen one, might be a useful tool. You think so too? Yes. But a lowly servant of the realm such as myself could never question his majesty. However, if the divine seer were to intervene the seer could free shulk they should be exchanging words as we speak well they're gonna think she's like a traitor because they just instantly get captured Prison is still a prison. What happened to Melia? I don't see her locked up in here with us. Exactly. She's in on this. Shulk, any thoughts here? Melia won't let us down. Shulk's too trustworthy. He like trusts in everyone, whether like evil or what. Okay, well. And she's not the kind of person to break. Not everyone, but majority of the people. Okay, Shulk. You win. I believe you. If you believe Melia, then no arguments from me. Nope, oh, everyone bail. Wait, I was about to say we had everyone bail, but they're all just chilling around the place. What's this? Oh, it's a ship. Are we missing someone? No, Melia never came in here. Alright, well, anyone. Also. <laughs> Why is the back of this chest so big? You have literal, literally no ass room to put your ass, yet have some long ass back of the chair. Anyway, as, as I was going to say, we are going to call it there for this episode. Again, apologies for the fact that there is no Animal Crossing episode today. There will be one tomorrow, so do not worry. Tomorrow we do have the uh, fishing tawny, so we do have that to look forward to. I don't know what time it starts, but... I'll probably end up recording that a little earlier than usual because I, I feel like it'll be sometime during the day. In the last couple of episodes, I think I've been around like three or four or something. I might try and do it around lunchtime or something. But anyway, 
We will have another episode of this, so we will carry it on. But yeah, anyway, if you're new to the channel and want to help us out, we're slowly climbing up towards 100 subscribers. We're currently at 61, which is absolutely insane. To all you amazing people that have been uh, subscribing, liking, commenting, watching the videos, I do greatly appreciate it. It does mean the world to me. If you guys have any requests for games you want to see played on this channel, feel free to leave a comment down below, and if I can, I'll get around to it. But until next time, take care and peace out.